Macabergs. Welcome back. I was in the Philippines for about a month in January and I'm back now here in Canada. I brought some stuff from the Philippines other than the uh, uh, Superior Sun items that I purchased before and I actually posted a video of it and uh, unboxing. I think this is a good idea to or perfect timing to show it to you because of the uh, SB19 Summer Special uh, Episode 1 uh, Duncan PH. This is chocolates. I found this at MOA during a Chinese New Year and I was at MOA area and a vendor was selling chocolates. I think it was 3 for 100 or something like that and one chocolate I gave it to my cousin because she's uh, into SB19 as well. Out of my relatives she's like also an 18 because the rest are K-pop. I don't even know if the chocolate's good or not but I just got it because of the pictures and I have a second item to show you. It's the TM uh, SIM card. <laughs> And I also brought it. We bought this and when we opened it and I realized it's them inside, it got ruined because I didn't realize it's going to be their pictures. But I brought this back because they're on it. But too bad, sides are ripped. Half of Jess's body is gone. But yeah, so I have this as a remembrance. The final thing is <laughs> B19 Duncan. I have three. I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> so perfect, right? Actually, again, I have four in total, but I gave one to my cousin and I brought three back to Canada. I don't know. I haven't opened it and I don't even know where to put it. Anyways, I'm not sure if the chocolate is good. I don't know if I should open it or not. This is what it says in the back. Let's see. Let me try. I guess I'll just save the wrapper. I don't even know if chocolate is good. I don't want to rip it. And okay. Typical chocolate. Nothing special. Just regular chocolate. All that matters is the picture. Anyways, Great to watch episode one. Duncan! <laughs> oh. Restart! Have your They're in a restart. <laughs> Power Rangers. <laughs> Teletubbies. <laughs> Why is it like kind of tight? Why is it like kind of tight on their neck part? Is it supposed to be like that? It looks like they're wearing it the other way around. It's usually it sports clothes. Their name is typically in the back, and other than that, it's a little bit tight on the neck part and a little bit open-ish, more space in the back. So I'm not sure if that's the style or they just wore it the other way around to make it cool because the name is uh, written. So instead of the back, they want to put it on the front as if, you know, you guys, you don't need to put your name on it because pretty much everybody knows who you are. <laughs> um, that's Ken, Stell, Josh, Pablo, and Justin. Um, is Justin wearing red as well? Oh, that's orange. And then pink for Stell, red, Ken, blue, Josh, and gray for Pablo. Okay. <laughs> Brancha. <laughs> One year supply. Send it all. So wait, who gets the one year supply? One of them, I guess, right? It's so cool. <coughs> I wonder where this is. This is at. Oh, is it the one by the um close to Nova Ecija area ish? Pampanga area ish, I think. I think there's a race car there. I could be wrong. Oh, Pablo.
Was it Pablo? I think Pablo. <laughs> Careful driver, new driver, right? Spell's a new driver. You guys don't blame. Make fun of him. Oh, I thought Pablo would be the um <laughs> I thought Pablo would be the first. I guess just uh not just I guess Josh's game expertise and been a driver uh, for a while has a um, extra push for him to be number one right <laughs> mustache it reminds me of um italian <laughs> Mr. Suave. Mr. Suave. <laughs> Papaya. Last to arrive. Justin. At least they're relaxing now. Especially, I think they're under the heat too, right? So, so they could relax and have a drink while the other two still, or other three still, have to work on the racetrack. Are those real donuts or is just a fake one? That's a lot of donuts. <laughs> Relaxing. It says the first loser. <laughs> My winners. <laughs> oh, King's number one. <laughs> Wrong way, Pablo. <laughs> Ah, Pablo's last, yeah. Josh and Ken. Wait, wait, what? What? Let me just go back. What did what happened? That's why. Oh, you had a joke. <laughs> The emoji is so him. <laughs> yeah, excuse me. <laughs> We're going to win. Aww, I have a feeling Josh will win, but I really want Ken to win because he's my bias. Oh! Wow, intense, huh? <laughs> Josh. Oh, I thought it was done. Oh, okay. Sucky. <laughs> yeah, I have a feeling Josh will win. The winner for the Duncan Grand Prix is Josh. <laughs> is that pretty good? Oh, he turned it around. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Kaya meron siyang one year supply ng Dunkin' Drink. Wow. Pero may surpresa kami sa'yo, Jolit. Dahil hindi lang yan ang napanalunan mo. Okay? <laughs> Galing ko sa Dunkin' Family. Nanalo ka rin na! 50,000 pesos! Nice! <laughs> Congratulations! And that's it for today, guys! Thank you so much! This has been... It's been nice! Literally, pasalubong ng bayan. Let me open this one. I'm opening one. Pasalubong ng bayan. Tada! So I guess the winner is Josh. Josh, I wonder if they're gonna have episode five. So, like one of each. Four to go. Well, in a way, when I saw this one, I was thinking like, you know what, this is a, a really good idea to, to showcase my collections I got from the Philippines. I know I had a, a, a month to possibly buy more other stuff, but the thing was, I was all over the Philippines and I didn't really go shopping. It was just more exploration, but I'm still happy. The thing is, I don't know what to do with this extra two. <laughs> one, my bedroom, what, living room and kitchen. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so funny. I went overboard. <laughs> but, you know, hey, I don't know when I'll, I'll be able to buy other stuff from uh, SB19. But, you know, I heard that they are coming uh, or they have an uh, announcement that they're going to be in, the, in Vancouver uh, August 18, if I remember correctly. So I already marked that on my calendar and I'm just hoping that it wasn't an April uh, full joke because when I saw it on Twitter, it was technically April full here in Canada I mean my time Vancouver time it was still uh, April 1st but at the same time it was Manila time April 2nd so I don't know if it was April full or not but I'm really hoping that will be they'll be here and it's officially confirmed that they're gonna perform in Vancouver but the thing is it's Friday and then the next day Saturday they have a performance in Calgary that's quite tight I was hoping that they'll stay here longer than that in Vancouver uh, maybe they'll be here for quite a while before the concert which I'm hoping that I'll see them roaming around downtown which uh, hoping that I'll I'll be there too because um, I live in Surrey which is quite farther uh, downtown it takes an hour to commute and uh, it will be hard if I don't know where they are. Hopefully, someone will um, post it. Will they will be staying around or whatsoever? So at least I can go and stalk them. <laughs> Crazy. Um, but anyways, uh, that's it, you guys. So we'll just wait for the other episode. And thank you so much for watching. And thank you for staying until the end. Thank you so much, Kabers. Bye. How wonderful, isn't it? How wonderful would it be?